Welcome to Ray Rant. I'm Adam Ray, and this is my co-anchor. I'm Mike Green! Anchor taking on two different meanings. Hey. This is worst songs ever, in my opinion. Number 10 is Do You Think I'm Sexy by Rod Stewart. This was a toss-up between this song and I'm Too Sexy by uh, whoever does that song. It was right said Fred, you idiot! But I choose this one because I don't think he's trying to be funny. Number nine is number nine by the Beatles. Number nine, 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 number nine. The Beatles, okay, they're going through an experimental phase, but this is just noise. Turn me on, dead man. Number eight, Hot Dog by Limp Bizkit. Six F's and your F'd up song? Come on, try on Cream with I'm So Glad. There's like 160 Glads in that song. I, I can't stand Limp Biscuit anyway, so I will give you a, th a thumbs up, big thumbs up on this. Number seven, Chop Suey, a system of a down. <laughs> in the name. It's too choppy. Though the chorus kind of smooths out and it's alright. But I, I, I don't like the song. I don't like it. Dude's voice is kind of weird too, really. System of a Down of All Bands. And you actually pick a band that actually has a little bit of talent. Surge is a classically trained operatic singer. I know that this isn't the best example of this and I know you're not in the metal and all, but seriously. Number six. Don't Stop Believing by Journey. Hate Journey. Why do chicks dig this band so much? This is the quintessential classic crap. Song. Hey Journey! Hey Journey! This is one of the best pop rock groups of all time. They're not even freaking monotonous. Like, I know a lot of people compare Journey to, you know, like Nickelback and stuff like that, but I just don't, don't get it. I say Nickelback because I can't stand Nickelback. And a lot of people say the same thing about Journey, but I really just, I don't get it. They're so freaking awesome to me. How can you be, you can't be down listening to Journey? Especially Don't Stop Believing. It's like the best fucking karaoke song ever. Actually, I think you've done karaoke this with me. Number five, I have Bye 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 by NSYNC. Actually, anything by NSYNC could be in this spot. Maybe it's jealousy, but I just hate 90s pop. This song and Justin Timberlake. If I saw him in the street, I guarantee you, I would just punch him. Just punch him, for no reason. Yeah, I probably would too. Number four is Crazy Bitch by Buck Cherry. <laughs> This 
This is purely degrading to women. Call me a feminist. FEMINIST! Girls love this song, and it makes me more mad than ever. Number three is Sippin' on Scissorp by 3-6 Mafia. Now, it's rap, so it's not really music. Rap, R-A-P, is an acronym for rhythm and poetry. But some rap songs are okay. But this song is terrible. Sip it on scissor, come on. It's so annoying. And why are you singing about some silly narcotics? I know why. Because you're a bunch of ignorant urban thugs. That's why. Somebody ought to kill you, really. Holy shit! No, you didn't! Number two, American Pie by Don McLean. Something touched me deep inside the day the music died so bye bye miss american oh my god this is so boring and drawn out and so repetitive and there's no creative instrumentation why is this song so popular the guy's voice is nagging and just terrible also I just don't get it. I blew my fucking brains out. And number one, worst song of all time, is The Macarena by Los Del Rio. I remember being in middle school dance and this song came on and I bowed my head and held my ears and just waited for the song to end because it's terrible. You just don't understand how saddened he is by that people. Show some fucking compassion. agree with most of this list. I mean, mine, mine and Adam's taste in music are a little bit different. We have enough in common that it's fun, but most of this stuff doesn't bother me because it's, most of it's pop music, and, and I use that term broadly. I know System of Down is not technically a pop group. I know um, somebody like Limp Bizkit, but these are all popular. These are songs that were popular at one point, and I really think that that's probably what more is coming out here. One song that I completely, wholeheartedly, 100% agree with on this goddamn list is American Pie by Don McLean. I agree with you totally. I don't understand why this is ever a popular song. Who gets any enjoyment out of listening to this? this is, it's supposed to be from the perspective of like a 12-year-old kid delivering a newspaper in 1959, reading about the plane crash and saying, oh my god, you know, three of my biggest rock and roll heroes are dead. Where's the actual emotion in this? It's, it's a bunch of shitty couplets thrown together. It's rhymes for the sake of rhymes. You're trying to throw weird metaphors in there about the devil and the jester and jumping over fire. And none of it works to me. Absolutely none of it works to me. I, I, don't, I don't get it. Um, I don't like Don McLean, period. I own a Don McLean album. It's pretty boring. I actually think it's called American Pie. It's pretty fucking boring. Vincent's on that. I kind of like Vincent. It's about Van Gogh. Um, it's still, it's kind of, a, I guess, a guilty pleasure. But all in all, Don McLean shit all sounds the same, and American Pie is just the exemplification of that whole thing. That's that early singer-songwriter crap from the early, from the 70s. It's, it's a genre that I'm not a fan of usually anyway. It takes somebody big and something, something that has some power behind it for me to like it in that singer-songwriter genre, and that's the lowest common denominator. Yet I could play that for... 50 people at my job, and every single one of them would say that they love it. I'm glad that we're in the minority for people that hate this song. 
I, I guess I'll make a comment. If if the Macarena by Los El Rio is Adam's least favorite song, I, I have to say something about it. I personally enjoy the song. I say I like it. That would be going way too far. I don't like it. Again, we'll use the whole guilty pleasure thing. I don't like the song, but it's catchy. It's infectious. To him, that's the bad aspect of it. To me, that's the good aspect of it. I like a lot of the stuff from that era that came out in, no, late 95, early 96. I know the craze hit in 96. Fuck, I still remember doing that in the middle school. I might have, I might have done that at somebody's wedding when I turned 18 or 19. So hell, in the early 2000s, people were still probably playing that song. There was a period, though, in the mid-90s where dance music was fairly big time. I mean, you had groups that really broke through that five, you know, two years before that and two years after that you never heard of again. And I know that happens, but the dance music craze of the mid-90s, bands like LaBouche, bands, groups like LaBouche, The Real McCoy, um, Robin, another one that I like a little bit later on. She's actually still putting out good stuff now. Um, Culture Beat, they all stem from that Euro dance shit. This is just another extension of that, South America's version of that. Um, I like that kind of stuff. It makes me feel happy. I get very nostalgic hearing it. I feel like I'm, you know, 11 years old again when I hear that kind of stuff. Hearing the Macarena actually makes me remember going to, um, where did we go? We went on a family vacation to Frontier Town outside of Ocean City, Maryland, and I went to the little dance that they had there with the rest of my family, and they played it, and I remember everybody having a really good time. So to me, that's a positive song, not one of negativity where I'm just kind of like, so, I, I don't get why it's his number one, but everybody's opinion is everybody's opinion. One day you'll hear my opinion.